When we gather around the Lord's table, it is common to read from 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 23 to 26. But this morning, I would like to take us to chapter 10 in 1 Corinthians. There, Paul, the author of this letter, writes that the cup we bless is a sharing in the blood of Christ, and the bread we break is a sharing in the body of Christ. You find this in verse 16. In a moment, Josh is going to bless the cup by praying. And as we drink the cup that has been blessed, we remember that Jesus willingly went to the cross, willingly went to his death, because he knew that through his death, that what makes everything wrong in the world, the power of evil, the power of sin, the power of death would be destroyed. And so we give thanks that by Jesus' death and resurrection, we are washed clean from all the bad stuff that seeks to weigh us down and destroy us. That by the blood of Jesus, we can know life anew. After we have taken the cup, we will also break the bread, which Paul says is a sharing in the body of Christ. In breaking bread, we don't just remember something in the past, but we commit ourselves to living in Christ. We commit ourselves to depending upon his spirit to become more like Jesus. We do this together because as Paul says in verse 17 of 1 Corinthians 10, just as there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake in the one bread. In eating this bread, we say we are all in. <laughs> we are all in to living like Jesus together. We are all in about being his body, the church. So let us use this time to say yes, to say thank you to God. Yes, to remember what happened 2000 years ago, but also to remember and to commit to what Jesus is doing in our midst now, as he knits us together as his people, as his body, as his church. Josh, would you um, pray for the bread and the wine? Yeah. Father God, we thank you for Jesus. We thank you that you 
Father, Son, and Holy Spirit so loved this world that you came to destroy that which is bad and which is sinful so that we could know fullness of life. We thank you that you even destroyed death itself and so you're alive evermore. We pray that as we eat this bread and drink this wine that you would continue by your spirit to work in our lives. We give you permission to remove the things in our lives which hold us back from loving you, that hold us back from being like you and doing that which speaks of you and pleases you. Fill us afresh, we pray, with your spirit of power, power to love as you loved, power to care as you care, power to pray in your name and see lives healed and changed. Fill us afresh, we pray, with your spirit, that we would be knit and built together as your church, that you bind us together, our love for one another would speak to those around us, your great love and your great salvation. Bless this bread and this cup as they speak of you. Fill us with your grace afresh, for your name's sake. Amen. As we drink the cup and eat the bread together, Tim and Esther are going to lead us in worship.
from the darkness into glorious light. Glory to His name. Glory to His name. There to my heart was the blood of Glory.